Hi, and welcome back. My name is Elna from elnacane.com. And for today's video, I'm going to share with you how to write an article and earn money as a beginner. Now, are you interested in earning money as a writer? <laughs> I'm going to share with you some tips to help you write your first article for sure. But if you don't already know, I do have a masterclass on your writing sample starter kit. So make sure you check that out after this video to help you uh, write your first sample. I give you an over the shoulder view of me writing a sample piece and how I do that and put it all together for you. It's a really nice masterclass and it's budget friendly for you. But for this video, I just want to give you sort of like an overview, show you an article that I wrote and then ways you can get paid for it as well. So let's get right to it. So over on the Good Men Project, I guest posted on this site. There is a guest posting option for the Good Men Project. You don't have to be a man to guest post on this site and you don't have to write content for men to guest post on this site, but it's just called the Good Men project. So I was approved to write a piece called improve your career by harnessing your inner writer. So this is my article. I have a tagline. So a lot of articles might have a tagline. So you can add that in under your title. So when you write out your title in Google Docs and Microsoft Word, whatever platform you use, have your working title and then have a subtitle with it. You can also add alternate titles and then have the editor choose one as a as a subtitle if you want. This is what I ended up doing. I wrote my title and then a subtitle. I did not source the image. So depending on what the requirements are for your guest posting project for your client pieces, you might have to source images. If you do, you can use free editing sources like Pexels, like Pixabay if you want. I believe this is probably from Pixabay. With article writing, especially article writing online, you need to hook a reader in pretty Pretty much from the get go. Now, because this is a guest posting site, I'm not that casual. I want to appear professional. You know, I'm not going to scream out my conversational type of writing that I might do on Medium and other places like my own blog. Okay, this is just a sort of a higher up for my writing uh, skills to show again, this is guest posting. I want potential clients to find me on these sites so that they can read my professional type of writing. So, but I do want to, like I said, hook someone right in the beginning. So it says excellent interpersonal skills are essential to building a successful business. Communication is how we connect in everything we do in our personal lives and in everything pertaining to running a business. However, these soft skills are lacking among business employees. That's sort of where my hook is. If you can get past these two sentences here, this is where I tie it in. All right. And that's where my hook is. Well, it's lacking. You know, everyone knows that you need these, you know, great interpersonal skills, but it's lacking. I might even say here over 70% of adults can't read past the fourth grade level. Maybe these skills are lacking because they are unable to read. That's where I position my posts on how to harness your inner writer, even if you struggle with reading and writing. I'm trying to tie everything in. If you notice, I put a link here. I put a link here. These are links to citing my sources, right? It's very key, especially when you write for clients and you write your articles for guest posting opportunities or for magazines or whatnot to cite your sources for sure. I have more of my introduction, my lead leading into to, it's funneling into what I want to ultimately write about. I am now talking to the person reading the post. So when you write your content online, you know, make sure that you're addressing the reader. That's important. So disciplining yourself to write more on a daily basis will improve your skills, reading level and productivity dramatically. You'll also find that you'll be able to articulate yourself better on paper and verbally. So what's your motivation? Are you looking to finally get started or finish writing that novel you have pushed aside for years? Or maybe you've decided to dip your toes into free freelance writing as a side hustle. I am speaking to that person that, you know, wants to have that notoriety as a writer, but because they're working in a job that they don't like, you know, and they're lacking those interpersonal skills, they're just not really succeeding in life. And so I want to give them inspiration to pull that, that writing out of them because it will help them on their, in their job. It will help them with those skills. That's what I have. So I structure my posts with H2s. It's numbered. I think I have here, I didn't put a number here, but I could have put, you know, five ways to improve your career by harnessing your inner writer. I could do that, but I didn't and that's okay. So I have my first way and then my second way I have bullet list that also is nice to break up, break up your content, your article, another subtopic, and then another one here. I have up to here, eight, nine, and then I have another section. So in order for me to fulfill the word requirement for a Goodman project, I needed more. I didn't want to write like a big long list post. So I just broke it up with some tools to make writing easier so that can help. 
So I have Grammarly and Toggle, strict workflow, things like that. And then my conclusionary paragraph for my article. It's important, especially if you're getting paid to write or you're writing a guest post to have a completed post. And a completed post means having a conclusionary paragraph. All too often I see bloggers just end their post with their last numbered subtopic and that's it. Or they'll put one sentence. I hope you enjoyed this post. Tell me in the comments what you thought. And that's it. There was no formal conclusion. So that's important. So I have here just to wrap up and then I summarize what you just read. And then that's that. What's nice with a guest posting opportunity is that you get a nice author bio. And so with my author bio, I have a link. Now I am using guest posting to get people to know me as a writer, not necessarily hire me, but if I needed this to be for hiring pur purposes, I would definitely link to my writer website. I do that for my client pieces, especially because prospective clients are reading my client pieces on those sites. And so I'm linking to my Innovative Inc writer website, but this is to grow my brand as a writer. I have this, but it's important that you understand with your author bio that you need to position yourself as the professional person that you are, that you want to get hired for, for that type of writing. That's in a nutshell, how you write an article online. Like I said, I do have my writer sample starter kit, which is a one hour masterclass. And it's an over the shoulder, you know, view of how I write a, a post. And I also give you 250 writing prompt ideas. You can quickly start writing your first writing sample. And these prompt ideas are ideal for client pieces, for guest posting pieces. So make sure you check that out. But let's go into like guest posting and where you can guest post that you can make money because you can write these articles and put them on free guest posting sites like the Good Men Project, like Medium. Those are great platforms to get your name and your writing out there published so that you can start pitching. But if you want to start making money, you need to find sites that actually pay writers. I do have some sources. So over on my Elna Kane site, I have 50 high paying sites that pay you to write, right? This is the most up to date post. I do have have older posts on another site. I wrote those years ago and I tried to update them as much as I can, but this is the one here that is the most recent because it's this year. So I'll link this in the notes below, but make sure you check this out and you can see all the ones that actually pay. Now they're all different. There's $50 a post here and then it just it slowly goes up to $100 a post, $100 a post, and then we go 100 to 200. So then it goes up or here's 50, 150, 10 cents a word, all of this up to 150 per piece. 150, 50 cents a word. That's nice, eh? Success Magazine. And it's in a magazine. So that's kind of cool to be featured in here. Ink pays up to $2 a word. So that's pretty cool. So there's lots of opportunities in this blog post to get paid. So if I went to, I'm actually looking at Success Magazine. If I clicked on Success Magazine, it has a contact us and it's the editor. You can look at the questions here to get some ideas. How do I submit a book at our right? Here's one right here. So you want to read that. This is the store. I would definitely get your pitching process underway so that you know how to pitch a story to an editor so that they want to publish it. Get to know the magazine. Look at the content. If you want to do marketing, then, you know, go to the marketing section and see what topics are they doing? Is it more for like millennials and featuring like influencer kind of topics? Or is it more business professional stuff with startups. So it seems here it looks like they want interviews in sales. Stop saying we. So that's interesting. Here's three stages of buying to win your ideal client from the success staff. That's a cool picture too. Eh? Serving your ideal client starts with understanding their buying motives. Let's see who this Jeffrey person is. I can click on his name. He doesn't have a bio here. So I would definitely take the opportunity to write a bio and have a nice headshot. So that looks like he's written a lot of posts if these are his. So things like that you need to be aware of if you want to grow your brand and start making money as a writer, you need to market yourself. So having a professional headshot, even on your iPhone is professional enough through editing apps, you can lighten and make a really nice picture of yourself and an author bio, a bio that promotes your writing service, that your article can live on this magazine. You can get paid for it, but use it for your portfolio, use it for marketing purposes kind of thing. Definitely take a look at my site, 50 high paying sites that pay writers so you can get paid to write. And hopefully these tips on how to write an article helped you. Let me know in the comments below if you are interested and make sure to check out my masterclass on the writing sample starter kit. If you haven't already subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.